Since mankind's humble beginnings, we have come a long way in spreading across the earth. And as of today, we have explored and discovered much of the world. And yet, due to the sheer size of our planet, there are still many areas of mystery. One of which is the ocean, which is commonly referred to as the final frontier of Earth. However, a lesser known part of the world that can be considered an equally mysterious frontier is the permafrost. Permafrost is soil or underwater sediment that has continuously remained below freezing for more than two years. And surprisingly, it currently covers a large amount of land, with 15% of the northern hemisphere or 11% of the global surface being underlined by permafrost. However, in recent times, large amounts of it have melted, revealing the secrets kept buried inside. The freezing temperatures of the permafrost have also kept many of these secrets well preserved, essentially acting as a natural time capsule. This has led to some pretty remarkable finds throughout the years that have shocked even the most seasoned of scientists. But occasionally, a particular specimen is unearthed that can only be described as downright crazy. And these are the seven of the craziest finds from the permafrost. The first discovery on the list involves an extinct horse foal that went undisturbed for tens of thousands of years, before finally thawing out of its permafrost tomb in 2018 when it was discovered in the Batagaika crater of Russia. It is believed to have been Elena horse, which roamed Siberia during the late Pleistocene and Holocene. Scientists noted that this specimen was in an almost pristine condition, as it still possessed its skin, tail, hooves, and hair, which showed that in life it had a bay-colored body and a black tail and mane. Sadly, it was deduced that the horse was only two weeks old at the time of its death which seems to have been caused by getting trapped in mud, where it then drowned or died of thirst. Its exterior body condition no doubt shocked researchers, but what really made it a crazy discovery is what they found within, liquid blood. This was a huge deal, as liquid blood is extremely rare in permafrost animals, especially ancient ones, and this baby horse was particularly old, being dated to about 42,000 years ago. At this age, it also holds the record for having the oldest liquid blood ever, beating the second place holder by 10,000 years. Along with the pure statistical remarkableness of this achievement, many are excited with this discovery as they think that its blood could be the answer in eventually cloning this animal and bringing it back to life. Another discovery in the permafrost that dates back to around the same time and is equally as fascinating involves something that at first might seem unassuming. Nematodes. These are microscopic, whitish to transparent, unsegmented worms that are among the Earth's most abundant creatures. They also appear to be one of the more resilient ones, as demonstrated by an ancient nematode found 130 feet or 40 meters deep in permafrost. This particular nematode was dated to the Pleistocene and was residing within the burrow of a squirrel. After its resurgence to the surface, it was quickly taken to a lab in order to thaw where it then did something almost unbelievable. It came back to life. It was able to achieve this feat through cryptobiosis, a physiological state in which metabolic activity is reduced to an undetectable level without stopping altogether. But the specimen didn't stop at simply coming back to life, as after its return, it started to reproduce. As it turns out, this ancient worm was an asexual reproducer, so it didn't need much in order to create babies. This of course shocked the scientists as they weren't expecting the nematode to do much in its limited time back from the dead, as they do have relatively short lifespans. And yet, it vastly exceeded their expectations and as a result it also probably has the biggest legacy of any worm, as its descendants are to this day being studied in order to find out how it was so resilient. What this ancient worm did was truly amazing, but sometimes it's not always what you do that is crazy, but what can be done with you. And this is best portrayed by the next find on the list, Blue Babe. Blue Babe is an extraordinary specimen that was found in Alaskan permafrost back in 1979 by gold miners, who named it for its bluish cast caused by a coating of blue iron phosphate. It was an amazingly preserved steppe bison, a now extinct species of bison that was once found in Europe, North America, and Asia. In life, it inhabited the once expansive mammoth steppe and heavily resembled the living European bison, but was larger in size, being the biggest known bison from Eurasia. And the blue babe specimen was no exception to this rule, weighing almost a full ton. 
But its true impressiveness didn't come from its size, but from its condition, as many consider it to be the most well-preserved step bison of all time, which is made more remarkable by the fact that it was killed and partially devoured by an American lion over 36,000 years ago. Despite its brutal demise, it had managed to retain most of its body, including its skin and even intact horns still attached to its skull. Its state was so excellent that upon its discovery, it was deduced that it could actually be eaten. And in true human fashion, that's exactly what researchers did. Specifically, a paleontologist decided to cut off a portion of its neck, which was then used in a stew at a dinner party. Partygoers described its aroma as being beef-like, mixed with earth and mushrooms, while describing the taste as not terrible, but more unpleasant than beef jerky. And yet, surprisingly, no one got sick. Thankfully, not every well-preserved Ice Age animal that is found is chucked into a stew. Some are just simply admired, as seen with Sparta, the cave lion cub. This specimen was located in Yakutia, Siberia, in 2017, and was actually found right next to another cub dubbed Boris. Because of the proximity of the two cubs and their almost identical ages of around one to two weeks, paleontologists believed that the two were siblings. But through dating techniques, they made the surprising find that both cubs were not only unrelated, but also greatly separated by time with Sparta being around 15,000 years younger than Boris. This may partially explain why Sparta was better preserved than Boris, and currently it's thought that Sparta may be the best preserved Ice Age animal ever found. Its external body is so untouched by nature that Sparta has retained the sharpness of her claws and her whiskers, with the researchers who studied it describing the only noticeable harm being ruffled fur. Her almost perfect condition has also revealed important information about cave lions, including their rapid growth rate. Compared to modern lions of the same age, Sparta was quite a bit bigger, which led paleontologists to deduce that in order to survive the harsh winters and short summers, lions had to grow faster and be able to hunt at younger ages. Their quick growth may have also been due to the prey they hunted, as they specialized in large game meaning they would have had to reach a mature size faster than other carnivores that went for smaller prey. Another adaptation that cave lions used to survive the harsh conditions was their fur, as demonstrated by Sparta's coat, which was thicker than the coat seen in living lions. Furthermore, Sparta and Boris' death site have also taught paleontologists much, as two separate lion cubs found in a small area means that their location was of great interest to cave lions at the time. It may have been plentiful in food and other resources back in the day, but it also seems to have been a treacherous place, as it is the land itself which appears to have taken out both of these lion cubs. This is believed as inside their little bodies, researchers discovered injuries that aligned with being crushed by earth, leading to the hypothesis that both were either trapped in caved dens or buried by landslides. Despite the crucial information Sparta has provided to science, its untimely death still means that it was never able to reach its full potential. A travesty that seems to have been quite common during the Ice Age, as another one of the permafrost discoveries is yet another juvenile animal, Yucca the Mammoth. Yucca is perhaps the most famous mammoth specimen to emerge from the permafrost, and this is hardly a surprise since of the over 25,000 mammoths that have come from Siberia alone, Yucca is by far in the best condition. She is a juvenile that has been dated to over 28,000 years ago, and yet has still managed to retain parts of her coat. But what really has scientists excited is that her amazing condition has allowed researchers to literally revive her dead cells. This was done by implanting cell nuclei into the egg cells of mice, where some of them proceeded to show signs of activity that precedes cell division. This was a huge step as previous attempts to get this far failed, and many have toted this as a big leap into finally reviving mammoths. But the thought of reviving creatures from permafrost doesn't excite everyone, and actually scares some paleontologists. And this is partially attributed to a virus that was found in 2014. This was specifically a giant virus dubbed Pithovirus Sibiricum, which upon being thawed was revived by scientists, at least in a sense as viruses are not truly alive. What scared them though, was that it didn't just come back to life, but it also became infectious once again. Fortunately for us, this virus only infects amoebas, not people. But this discovery was a wake-up call as it means that there is a non-zero risk 
that one day a virus makes its way to the surface that can harm humans. This concern also extends to parasites and bacteria, and it scarily seems that this potential nightmare may already be a reality. Specifically, it's believed that a 2016 outbreak in Siberia that killed 2,000 reindeers and a 12-year-old child was the result of frozen anthrax coming back to life after 75 years of being buried in permafrost. Another similar situation occurred in 2012, when scientists confirmed that a 300-year-old mummified woman contained the virus known to cause smallpox. And yes, you heard that right. Mummified humans have also been found in the Siberian permafrost. And this 300-year-old specimen actually pales in comparison to a human found back in 1993 within the Republic of Altai, the Siberian Ice Maiden. This discovery was remarkable due to the age of the woman, who is believed to have lived and died during the 5th century BC. She belonged to the Paziric culture, which is a Scythian nomadic Iron Age group and she was specifically found located within a burial tomb chamber that had been overtaken by the permafrost. She was located in excellent condition, with tattoos even being visible. But what interested researchers the most was what she was buried with, which included two horses, tables, yogurt, mutton, horse meat, and a horse cup. The presence of these things likely meant she was of high status, perhaps being a priest of her village. They also found cannabis, indicating that early humans may have used it for chronic pain. The pain in her case is believed to have been caused by breast cancer or injuries from a fall, both of which were speculated after findings in an autopsy. It's currently thought that she succumbed to her illness or injuries between the ages of 20 to 30, where she would then rest for 2,000 years before being disturbed. Another interesting aspect about this find is that a paleontologist actually discovered yet another tomb on top of hers. As of now, they don't think it came from the same people, rather a different group of humans that repurposed the burial sites for their own dead. This find and all the others on the list have been close to real life time travel, and have offered absolutely invaluable information to scientists. And as more permafrost likely melts, we can be sure that even crazier discoveries will be made. Hopefully though, these discoveries will remain just crazy and not dangerous. I'd rather like to avoid a pandemic caused by an ancient virus. Another incredible discovery that was recently made is that 80% of the people watching our video are not subscribed. So if you'd like to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest paleontology news, hit that subscribe button.